To keep yourself updated, subscribe to Indigo Learn and click the bell icon and download our app OneFin to start learning on the go. Now we will use the VLOOKUP function, one of the most widely used functions in Excel till the time actually XLOOKUP came up. With this function, we can actually extract the data more accurately. Now here we saw that, you know, there is a restriction. If the number doesn't match exactly, it becomes a problem. Or, you know, if the lookup value doesn't match exactly, it becomes a problem. It will give us incorrect results. So for that, we will use VLOOKUP functions again. So I'll just use the same roll number 107. Now the VLOOKUP formula, again, it's more logical, equal to VLOOKUP, right? Now again, here we need to define what is the lookup value. What is the lookup value? Now in our case, we want Excel to search roll number, which is F2. So I'll just select that F2, comma. Now, table array. Now what does this table array mean? Table array means, which is the table where you want Excel to go and search for the data. So always remember, whenever you are selecting data in a VLOOKUP formula, the table array should have its first column which should be the lookup value column. What I'm trying to say here is, whenever I'm defining this table array, so for example, I said VLOOKUP F2. Now, if I come to this lookup sheet, now I have to select this table, right? Now, the lookup value is present in the first column. It need not be the first column of the Excel sheet, but it has to be the first column of your selection. Only then this formula will work. So what did we do? We chose A1 to J6 and it is always advisable whenever we are working with VLOOKUP to log this table array so that whenever we copy or paste the formula, there is no error, right? So I just use F4 to lock it, right? You can see the dollar symbols getting added. Now I said VLOOKUP F2, F2 is that is in the first sheet. Where do you want Excel to look it up for? In the lookup sheet A1 to J6 then comma. Now what is this column index number? This is the number of that particular column in your selection from where you want Excel to pick up the data. So in our table that we have selected, in our selection, not in the Excel sheet table, in our selection from A to J, which is the column you want as your answer. So I want name. So name is in column 2, right? This is the first column. This is the second column. So I will say column 2 comma it says true or false now what is true and what is false if you define it as true it will give you an approximate match if you define it as false you will get an exact match so we will use exact match and you will define the exact match by typing zero right and you close the bracket so basically zero means exact match one means approximate match but generally we would be looking for exact match so we will see zero you press enter now you can see you got the result as raj now i change this to 108 perfectly fine i change it to 109 it says n a that is not available basically 109 is not available in the data sheet that we have selected so this is where we look up is superior than just the lookup right so if the value that you are searching for is not available, then you will get this error called N A, right? Now, 110, not there. 113, yes, it's there. So, I will just move on with 107. So, you can see roll number 107, it said Raj. Now, can we use the same formula here? Yes, you can actually use it. So, what we can do is equal to V lookup, right? Again, what is the lookup value? 107, comma, table array. So again, go to the lookup sheet, select this particular table, what do you want, right? Now, you need not select the entire table. If you just want, you know, let's say till total, you need not go ahead and select percentage and result. Then again, I'll lock it. Always remember that, comma, I want marks in mathematics. Mathematics marks is in the fourth column, 1, 2, 3, 4. So I'll say 4, comma, 0, and I'll close the bracket, press enter, marks of 10 have come. Now, instead of looking up with the roll number, this time we'll look it up with the name, okay? So, equal to V lookup, I'll just use name as Raj F3, comma, come to this lookup sheet. Now, here, you should not start the selection from column A. You should start the selection from column B because the lookup value is present in column B. 
This is one thing you need to be very careful when you are using VLOOKUP. If you start selecting from column A, then you will get a bad result. Okay. And if this column is somewhere towards the end, let us say the roll number is not there in column A, but it was there in column J, then we would not be in a position to apply this formula VLOOKUP. Always and always, the column which has the lookup value should be the first column, right? So I'll select this column B and then keep on selecting. I know I need the marks for science. Now this is the fourth column. Right, I'll select the entire table or you can just select till science, it's up to you. Select the entire table, comma. Now you should count from name. So column B is 1, column C is 2, this is 3, this is 4th. Science is 4th column for this particular definition, right. So 4th, comma 0, press enter, you get the marks 96, okay. Then can I copy this formula? Just for that you just need to lock it. Also we need to lock this F3 by using F4. Press enter, copy and paste. Now again it shows 96. I know it is not in 4. It has to be in 5. It has to be in 6. You get the total 81. Then it has to be in. So I will just change it to 8. This has to be in column number 9. Press enter. You get the result. Right. Now this is how you can use this formula we look up. Right. Few things that you need to take care. The lookup value should be in the first column of the data that you have selected. So when we selected with roll number, we selected from A1. But when we wanted to do it with the name, we selected B1. So that is very important. If at all, just for argument's sake, roll number is not present here. But let's say roll number is present somewhere in the last column. Then we will not be able to use the VLOOKUP formula. Or even if roll number was present in column G, we would not be in a position to extract this data which comes before this particular column. So the lookup column should be the first column of your data selection, right? Wherever it is, it has to be the first selection. Now this again becomes a huge restriction when we use the lookup functions. That is why an improvement of VLOOKUP we have got that is XLOOKUP. But before we move on to XLOOKUP, we will see how we can use some other functions so that we don't need to remember the column numbers, right? So that is what we'll understand. And then we will move on to the other function, right? Then and in the formula, it is always advisable to log this particular array that you are referring to. So the table that you have selected, you should log that. This, you know, F3 that is locking the lookup value depends on how you want to copy paste the data. For example, Based on the roll number, I want the name. So I know my roll numbers are 107, 108 and you know 113 and so on. I want the name. Now how will I get the name equal to we look up, look up value 107. Come to this table. I will just select these two because I do not want the entire uh, table to be searched for. I just want Excel to search for the first two columns in that table. So I will select it 1 and 2, column number 1 and column number 2. This I will lock it. Now here what is the formula equal to we look up? Lookup value is 107, that is A16, comma, table array, come to the second sheet, select the relevant, you know, data from the table, I will lock it, F4, comma, column index number, I want data to come from second column and I want it to look for an exact match, right, now you see, you get the answer as Raj. Now here, so here, I will not lock this particular lookup value because I can directly copy this and paste it here, it gives me the output. Again, copy and paste it here, it gives me the output. So, depending on whether you want your lookup references to change or not to change, you can, you know, uh, use the dollar symbol to, you know, make the range absolute or you can make the range relative. You may include the dollar symbol or you may exclude the dollar symbol depending on what you want to achieve. But always advisable to log the table array reference. Now, another way where we can, you know, avoid this locking and unlocking thing is equal to v lookup lookup value a18 comma here you select the entire column column a and column b select in total then there is no concern that the data would change if you copy from one row to the other row right so lookup 8 comma b comma 2 comma 0 and you press enter you get the answer but the thing here is if i want to copy it here let's say I want to copy the same formula, so let's see here also I put 113 and I want to copy the same formula here, then it becomes difficult because A to B has become D to E. So for that what we can do is, we can actually 
log this range and then copy it and paste it here it becomes easier right so depending on what is your end object you should decide whether you want to make a cell reference absolute or dynamic absolute meaning with dollar symbols dynamic meaning without dollar symbols now you would have observed that when we were applying this VLOOKUP formula every time we had to remember which column do we need to refer to should we refer to column 4 column 5 column 6 it was becoming very very difficult right so to make our life simpler we have a formula which will tell us that in a given set of row or in a given set of column where does this particular text appear where does this particular text appear obviously the text has to be unique and based on that unique text it will tell us that this particular item is available in this particular column or this particular row for example mathematics i want to know in that given defined table which column does this text appear so what is my defined column here it is a to j so if i come to the lookup sheet from a to j i want excel to go and search and tell me boss in which column is match seen very simple now for this we have a formula called match what will match do it will go and check in a particular column or a particular row and tell us that this particular text is in this particular row or column right so is equal to match what do i want to match i want to match this particular text where now i have to see from a till j because that's the table i know i'll be using from a till j i'll again lock it here and search for an exact match zero means search for an exact match so i'll use zero close the bracket press enter it says four so what does this four indicate match occurs in the fourth position in the given selection or in the given array right then if i copy this and i paste it here science is at the fifth position now but if i come back in here and see i have used reference number four why because i started from column b so depending on where you are starting the formula from you can ask excel to check and tell us the position of a particular item right then you copy it and paste it at six seven 8 and overall result it says not available why because in lookups it is just the result so what i need to do is i have to change this to result and it says position number 10 now how will this be useful instead of manually typing 4 you can simply say this 4 you pick it up from column i7 so in i7 we have the column reference number you pick it up from there and you press enter 49 right now here in our case we need to lock this roll number i'll just lock that with the dollar signs and paste it here 96 62 74 so directly it can pick up the column reference for using the match formula instead of finding the column reference number in a separate column what you can actually do is you can directly input the formula here saying match this particular text this is the lookup array comma zero and then close the bracket and press enter see this can also work so what happens it's a formula inside a formula if you expand the formula you will see given a formula match e7 from a1 to j1 to 0 then that is equal to 4 right so this is how you can use this formula called match and figure out what is the column number in a given set of data now this also work by you know typing match match in the lookup array let's say from here till total close the bracket comma 0 and close the bracket it says 1 why because i started selection from 1 and match is in the first position right so you can directly define the lookup value here or you can refer to a particular cell and depending on what you have selected it will tell you what is the position of that particular column right so here if i change it from a to b this becomes 3 because one column is gone and because the first column is removed the position now becomes 3 right so this is how we can use a match function and make our life easier with vlookup now another thing with this vlookup function is whenever it searches for data it starts searching from the first row and keeps on searching till it finds the relevant value right now in the earlier formula that was of the lookup formula it was very clearly mentioned that you have to arrange it in a ascending order right here ascending order is not necessary so it can be so this particular data set can be in any order but excel will start searching from the 
first row or the first row of the table that you have defined and it will keep on searching and once it finds the exact match it will return the value once it finds the exact match it will give you the output or it will give you the value now just for our understanding let us say you know i cut cut this 115 and then i paste it here right so i'll just right click here and define it as insert cut cells right now it is changed but excel when it is doing vlookup let us say i put it as 108 right it directly picks up channa and it gives us the output so it starts searching for the data right from the first row and keeps on searching till the last row now the problem is if at all there are duplicate values let us say two students have the same roll number two students have the same roll number it should not happen but if at all two students have the same roll number let us say this also i change it to 108 it will pick up this first 108 that has come it will not pick up the second one so that is one thing you need to be careful if at all there are duplicate values then it will pick up the first value that occurs right if there are more than one value with the same parameters so i'll change it back now if i you know just, just copy this formula and paste it all across right it has you know i've just replaced this with the match formula now in the last parameter which is the range lookup the option is zero if i change it to one what happens see it changed to 49 earlier it was 100 the moment i said one it became 49 and then i copy and paste all of that it changes now why did it change now this marks if you see 49 is of the first person that is 107 at raj right 49 96 62 everything belongs to the first person now even if i change this roll number here you see you know 115 it changed if i do 110 these are na and na because the formula still has zero but wherever it has one it took up an approximate match basically it means excel will search for the data from first row you know it will start searching and wherever it finds the closest match it will pick the data and it will return to us now again this kind of formula is generally not used unless you are working with dates right if you are working with dates like if a data set has a lot of dates there you can use an approximate match but whenever you are working with absolute values it is advisable to use an exact match now you see what happened i changed to 115 6480A45 right so I changed it to 115 so this picked up correctly but if I use 108 what Excel did it searched for 107 it found 107 then it found 115 then it thought 108 is not available so it gave us the output for 107 so that is what we have to be very careful when you are using VLOOKUP function advisable to use an exact match and not an approximate match so I will come back here and I will change it to an exact match that is 0 right now if I change it to 108 it automatically picks up the correct values